good afternoon. Here it is a nice Sunday afternoon on sunny in sunny Florida and I have a new project. This is my turtle that I cut out. It's painted both sides painted with a primer. It's made out of plywood and this is a turtle that I'm going to paint. The one I've started it's already got a base coat on, a rough base coat, so that it has some kind of sliding. My friend wants this done in colors that are blues, greens, sort of the um, rich colors. So I have a nice rich blue here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put the colors in any order. And I want it a little bit higher, more in the blue. So the blue will be on the top. And of course, all my colors have been set up with, oops, Floetrol and the treadmill oil. And so they're all set to go. And I'm just going to do a pour on this so we shall see how it goes all right hang in there with me I think that should be enough paint. So, I'm going to give it a little stir just to sort of mix them colors slightly. See, look at the colors coming out already. That's going to be awesome. All right. Now, I think I'd like. It's supposed to look like, uh, you know, underwater and stuff, so I want it to sort of flow. So I'm thinking we just sort of start here and flow it this way. I'm thinking this is going to be fun. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, thinking. Go for it. All right, we're just going for it. Okay, here we go. Now I got a tip, 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 tip. Oh my. Goodness, it's looking good, but I don't know about the ends here. Whoops! Oh my! The nice thing is we can use bits and pieces. Oh, look at that! Holy cow! All right, so I'm going to have to a little more paint. I want to tip this this way now. This is going to be fun because I have no idea how this is going to work. I'm going to come down into the head. Okay, let's 
Let's go the other way. I don't know if you can see this, but holy cow, that's going to be nice. What I need to do now is pick up some of the paint that fell and use that in different places. I will add a little green here. Hmm. Boy, this is a big one. I don't know. Make a little bit more paint. some effect. Let's see if that helps. Okay. Hmm. I'll tip my This is a tricky one. Now, I can paint into this. It's getting a little bit muddy in places. Okay. See. Let's see what I can do here. Definitely an experiment. So we shall see what happens when it dries. Let's see. Gotta get it down the sides. This will be hanging outside, so I've treated the wood, it's made with exterior plywood, I've treated the wood so that it'll last as long as it can in this Florida weather. down on this side a little bit more. Nope, well, we'll see if this works because I 
I may just add some more colors to it to sort of take out this kind of like this here this is kind of neat but it doesn't flow with the rest of it so I'm gonna have to sort of make that move around some just make squiggle marks and break it up so that it looks like it moved around which is kind of fun too. And then I'm going to hit it with the, there we go, I like that, kind of looks like the C, oh hey I hey, know it's turning out, it's okay. I'm going to actually put another layer of color in here. I want it to be a little bit more bluer over here. And I'm just going to follow the streaks that have already been created just to kind of break up that mass of blue. Now this may actually be a little bit too thick. That's what I'm kind of afraid of. So we'll see what happens when it dries. bit of this color in here. Break that up some. And maybe some of the greens, seeing the greens there. Oh wow, that's kind of bright. That's different. Well, we both have eyes. We can't see the eyes. So, I'm going to see if I can move this down. Let's just test this out. I need to pull some of this paint off. I'm just sort of moving it around a bit. Definitely getting some interesting things happening, that's for sure. Trying to keep in track of every angle at the same time. Well, he definitely looks like he's underwater. Okay. Alright, 
so let's see what we can do. liking the middle as much. I like this here. Maybe I shouldn't use the green and I'll get more of these blue streaks. So maybe in here, I really like that. We wanted some dark blues and stuff, so I'm going to just Add some more blue streaks in here. And make them disappear. I'm just gonna follow the lines very gently. underwater. How about we can get this one going? And this one. And then we can maneuver that. Sort of blend that in. Just kind of follow the lines. up in here. So it kind of makes sense of why that's two-tone. I'm just going to getting some cells forming, which is nice. Again, I don't know how this is going to dry because this is awfully thick. So let me fire up and see what happens. Getting some cells, which is nice. Ooh, yeah. We got a few cells happening. Which is kind of nice. It kind of creates the end effect. But we'll see again what happens when it dries. Um, and I'll 
I'll show you the finished product when it's done. So I'll bring it down now so you can see it closer. See, we do have some nice effects going on. I like that. These are kind of cool. Kind of look like wavy sea under the ocean. But here's this down here. See, they're kind of nice. So anyway, there's my sea turtle. Oh, he looks pretty neat. All right. I'll show you when it's done. Bye-bye for now.